welcome back to the videos it's wonderful to have you here again as always so today in this video I need to tackle this clutch release solenoid um, I need to get the plumbing done so I need to get the in and out sorted or the in and out whichever way I decide to go about it I've got to get from you're not going to be able to see it but from the master cylinder down there plumbed into here and then from here down to where it joins onto the slave um, so to do that I've got this bag of fittings and hose and all sorts of stuff hopefully I've got everything I need in there to get it done um, but yeah Bit of a pain in the butt of a job because it's all down there and then I've got to get it on the hoist, get it under the car. Um, I'm not going to have time to get it wired up today, but I'll at least get these two hoses made. Uh, while i got it on the hoist, I'll probably fit up the new oil pressure sensor I've got as well. And um, maybe that fuel pressure sensor while I'm there as well. But yeah, anyway. Uh, I gotta get stuck into this. I got the alternator fixed from the last video. I had I had an old alternator down there somewhere and I took the front cover of it, gave it a quick clean and fitted it to this alternator and then I got my new my new line down there into the power box all ready to go. So hopefully that'll solve that electrical issue, but I'm not going to know until I get it out on the street. And I need to get that plumbed at least before I can get it out on the street. So yeah, let's uh, get hooked into that and get it sorted. So then we can move on to some, some other stuff in some future videos. Now I've got this fitting. That uh, converts a flare flare style fitting to an AM fitting. That's got to go onto the master cylinder, and that is going to convert it to be able to run an AN line. Got a 90 degree fitting. That is to go into the master cylinder side.
that's that one in anyway. Right. Get this son of a bitch on the hoist. Get that one underneath. All right, and there we have it. Hose number two. Now I just got to get it fitted to the car, try and bleed the whole system, which is going to be the fun part. Yeah. Hold down. Half the time I don't know. Alright, pump it up. Hold it down. <laughs> all right so we've just gone and uh, attempted to bleed up the clutch um, we got the normal side of it bled all right it seemed to be working fine and then as we were going to bleed the slow release side with the solenoid activated it's uh, overstroked the slave and it's just pumping all the fluid out the slave so Seems like the transmission's got to come out so I can shim the slave away from the transmission uh, which is something I have known about for a little while uh, when I first put this twin plate in and first took it for its first drive I experienced it doing the same thing and I just de-adjusted the rod so I didn't push it as, as far uh, but it seems now with this it has amplified the problem even more I don't really understand how that works but it, it has done it so yeah I'm gonna have to go and yank the transmission out of this thing and get that concentric slave shimmed away um, so then everything wants to work again hopefully um, I'm not gonna bother filming that 
filmed taking this gearbox out a thousand times, so I'm just gonna spend the time this afternoon to get it out. Um, thankfully, it's not too bad of a gearbox to get in and out of the car. So, um, yeah. That's gonna be it from me in this video. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it and like seeing this guy. Um, I have got some new LEDs fitted up there. I can see the screen on the GoPro flickering, so hopefully the flicker from them isn't too bad. If not, I'll try a few other settings on the camera and whatnot and filter it out. But um, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it from me in this video. That's one step closer and now two steps back to getting this thing out on track, but we are getting closer. So that's a bonus. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm gonna head off, or that's where I'm gonna leave it in this video, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. Leave your comments down below and also like the video. Um, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to unleash the boost, and I'll see you guys then. Bye bye. Look at this idiot. Always in the way, aren't you? Hey? Yeah, look, what, what are you going to squeeze through this little gap for? And then you come back. Wanna go for another time? Hey? Yeah, look at you. Huh? Go on, scram. <laughs> Again. Ah, oh, seems like you could sit here all day doing this, couldn't you?